After years of fighting and lawsuits and action by lawmakers, a major agreement announced today about coal ash cleanup. The Catawba Riverkeeper says it's the largest environmental cleanup in U.S. history. Duke Energy agreed to excavate its remaining six coal ash sites across the state. That includes the Marshall Steam Station on Lake Norman and the Allen Steam Station on Lake Wiley. Duke says it will take 10 to 15 years to excavate those sites. It'll cost between eight and nine billion dollars. There's also a plan to protect the drinking water and the lake water in that area. Channel 9's Elsa Gillis is live for us with a closer look at the plan and how it affects you. Elsa? Yes, this has been a long and frustrating process for so many people, but going into 2020, there is a plan in place and a Duke Energy spokesperson tells me they have already started the closure process. I'm excited and happy that this after five years of working so hard that we're going to have results. Laura Tench lives just around the corner from Belmont's Allen Steam Station, one of the final nine coal ash basin sites now set to close. She, along with her neighbors, have lived for years with serious health and environmental concerns over the coal ash. It's been really hard. But now, this landmark agreement between the DEQ, Duke Energy, and community groups lays out the plan to close the remaining coal ash sites in North Carolina, including two in our area, the Marshall site on Lake Norman and the Allen site along Lake Wiley, and excavate nearly 80 million tons of coal ash. Over 10 to 15 years, Duke has agreed to excavate seven ash basins and put the material in lined landfills. The remaining two, including Marshall, will be partially excavated. That's because at those sites, sections of the basins were filled with ash in the past and covered. And that really became usable land. So the state allowed us to put new and additional disposal facilities like line landfills right on top of the basin. We all decided it did not make sense to excavate that material and the ash underneath it. So we agreed to leave it in place to continue to keep a close eye on it. That, Duke spokesperson Paige Sheehan says, helps to reduce the cost significantly. What's great about this agreement is that it saves $1.5 billion on the total price tag for this important work but it delivers the same environmental benefits as full excavation. We feel really good about this settlement. The Catawba Riverkeeper is one of the groups that's been fighting alongside residents for the cleanup. In addition, uh, Duke will be liable for toxins that exceed safe levels at or beyond its property boundary or the nearest uh, body of water. Now I know that my grandchildren and future people will be safe. Now, Duke says there will be specialized wells and technology in place at the two partially excavated sites to monitor groundwater conditions. Now, they also have corrective action plans in place at each site to protect groundwater. And the public will have the opportunity to weigh in on their closure plans during public meetings in February. Allison. Seems like all sides are pleased with this agreement so far. Elsa, thanks. North Carolina regulators are still considering a rate increase request from Duke to help pay for the coal ash cleanup. They want to raise residential rates by an average of 6.7%. It's not clear if this new agreement will impact future rate increase requests. You can read all of our past coverage on this and find a link to the settlement inside this story on the WSOC app.